Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you all of my pickups for the month of July, so stay tuned. So during the month of July, we did have a lot of different sales going on, um, most notably the Barnes & Noble Criterion 50% off sale. Um, I did do some purchases for that, so I'm just going to leave um, the links up above if you'd like to check those videos out. Um, so. Next up, I'm going to show you what I picked up online and also um, in-store purchases. Um, first up, we have the Eureka release for the Dark Half. Um, I've heard some really good things about this one. Just never did get to check it out, so I went ahead and purchased that one. I got Cinema Paradiso um, Arrow release. And I also picked up the Barnes & Noble exclusive Arrow release just because of the variant. Um, um, slip cover, slip box, slip cover. I also got the um, Arrow release for ICU. Looks like it has a really good trailer. I haven't got to see that one, um, but I am looking forward to checking that one out. And also, I picked up the UK release for um, Creep Show 2 for the Arrow release with this variant um, slip box. I also found a really good deal at the Dollar General store for um, the Horror Classics Volume 1. So I got that. And also I in, um, got Enter the Dragon, the Bruce Lee um, movie. Nice little set at the Dollar General. Okay, let's see what else. So we had the Warner Archive sale going on during the month of July. Um, I did do a video of that if you'd like to check out that video. And with it, I got a little romance, tin cup, um, the mystery of the wax museum, two on a guillotine, and the stalking moon. So those are the pickups for that. And then I did get some more um, Eureka releases. I got Mr. Vampire. Not very sure about this one, um, but. I was um, someone suggested that I purchase this, so I got it. I also got Throwdown, and I got the um, Bella Lugosi in the adaptation of Edgar Allan Poe's um, different movies. And I got the Buster. Finally, I got my Buster Keaton set from Eureka. I ordered this one back in April. It finally showed up, so. Glad I finally got it. Okay, so there's more. Okay, so let's see. We got the Zavi exclusive Ready Player One set. This is the Titan Titans of Cult collection. So I got this one in the mail. I also got the um, Avengers Endgame Zavi Steelbook with the lenticular magnetic card. And also the Captain Marvel Zavi, excuse, um, Zavi exclusive with the lenticular card, magnetic card. I got from Shout Factory and from Scream Factory, I got Resistance from eBay for the, um, so anyways, from eBay I got Ninja 3, um, the, Domin the Domination. I got this off of eBay because it went out of print and I missed out on the order from Shout Factory. So I went ahead and got that one before it got really crazy in price. I got 13 Ghosts, The Blackout, Invasion Earth, Glen Gary, Glen Ross, and Kiss of the Vampire. I had ordered those previously and they just finally showed up today on July 31st. So better late than never. Okay, it's been a busy day. I'm sorry I'm out of breath, but it's been a busy, crazy week. Okay, next up I got Clueless. Really nice slipcover. This is for the 25th anniversary edition for those who can't read. I also finally picked up the six movie collection for Paranormal Activity. I really enjoy these movies. Finally came across a set from Walmart that did not have a damaged slip cover, so I snagged it up. And I also found this in the 696 bin um, home front. Really looks like a really good movie from the trailer that I saw. And it is wrapped with the slip cover, so for 696, I went ahead and grabbed that one. 
Okay, almost, almost done. I did get the 4K release for Spartacus. And some still books that I got. I got one cut of The Dead. Great movie. I really enjoyed this one from Shudder. If you haven't seen this movie, I would definitely suggest you watch it. I got the 4K still book from Best Buy for Spartacus. I also got World Tour, um, Trolls World Tour. Still book from Best Buy. Finally, I got a Bloodshot still book from Best Buy. I had pre-ordered this one way back when. They finally shipped it and delivered it. I got Airplane still book. Airplane still book with a dent in it, so this one's going back as soon as I get my replacement. I got Clueless still book, 25th anniversary. I did do some unboxings of those if you'd like to check out the videos somewhere up here. And I got my Wonder Woman 4K still book from Best Buy. So this is probably probably the fourth still book for Wonder Woman that they put out. So I had to get the other one. Kind of wish that they would do something different, something new. I mean, if they're going to release a still book like this for Wonder Woman, they might as well go ahead and just release the other ones again so that they're all uniform. Okay, my last stack. I got the Mechanic, starring Charles Bronson. This came with a slip, so I purchased that one. The Gates of Hell with a slip. And Lone Wolf McQu um, McQuaid. Lone Wolf McQuaid with a slip. I got the Paramount Presents Ghost Blu-ray with the slip cover. And Airplane with a slip cover. I also purchased Death Warrant. Really good movie. Got it with the slip cover. And then from Cauldron. I want to say, I think their name's Cauldron. It's a new label, horror label. I got Abracadabra. Really nice looking little slip box with a Blu-ray um, in Boston and everything. So I, I ordered this one. And the other one was American Rickshaw. Trailers look really good. So I got these. These are pretty well cheesy 80s, 90s maybe. Actually, you know what? I take that back. I don't know what the years were. But anyways, I got both of these. They seem to be really good. So those are all my pickups and orders for the month of July. July was a very crazy, hectic month. Um, I do work in education. We are getting ready to open school this Monday, August 4th. And it just has kept me very busy. So, um, but apparently I found time to buy some movies, which was nice. Um, but anyways, hopefully you were able to get all the things that you wanted in the month of July. Um, I know I've seen many, many, many Criterion hauls from Barnes & Noble. I really have enjoyed watching those videos. I watch them every day, so every, everyone that I can find every day, I, I watch those. Um, I hope, hopefully you'll check out the um, haul videos that I did. There's two of them. I do plan on doing a collection video for my Criterion collection pretty soon. I think I'm going to collaborate with someone and we're going to do one together. So I'm still waiting to get that figured out. But there will be one soon. And got a lot of other plans um, in the works for future videos. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And that way you'll know whenever I upload new videos so that you won't miss out any of my content. Um, I have come across a lot of new channels this month, especially because of the Criterion hauls. And there's some really good channels out there that I've I'm subscribed to. And I'm looking forward to watching more of their videos. Um, hopefully, so, so during the month of July, I also took a break from doing live streams. Um, I started doing the live streams back in March. And I did one every single week from March, well, toward the end of March. And then all of April, May, and June. And so I took a break during July because it kind of burned out. And people were probably getting tired of my, um, probably getting tired of seeing me. So I, so I took a break. So hopefully I'll be getting the live streams going again. We may have one. I may have a live stream tomorrow on August 1st. I'm still waiting to figure out if that's doable or not. So be looking for that. But anyway, thank you. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. 
If you like what you saw, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. And like I said before, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. So you can find me there. Also, if you'd like to see what I've been watching, which I have been watching movies. I've been watching a lot of my Criterion movies. Um, you can find me over on Letterboxd. And that way you can see what I've been watching. Uh, but thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And we'll see you next time.